We're here with Gavin Noble, uh, 23rd in the London Olympics. How did you find today? Um, I really enjoyed today. It's nice to be back and I've been hanging out in Dublin now for a couple of weeks and uh, yeah, the weather's nice and yeah, Rick, I enjoy coming to Dublin and racing so it's, uh, it would have been rude of me to sit down on the couch when I know what is happening in the park and no, a few friends racing and uh, I got a new bike this week and had to test that out and yeah, like my dad came down and had a nice meal last night and we're getting to see my friends and, and just hanging out in Dublin so if you can get a squeeze of racing then it's all good. And uh, there was a bit of competition there, you didn't have it all your own way, you were kind of pushed a little there by Stephen early. Yeah, like uh, Stephen's obviously had a good year so far and uh, he's trained a bit now with Brian Keane and Temple Logan the swimming so yeah I was I was sort of confident I wasn't I wasn't really sure how I was going to go today because I was sort of been lying about for the last few weeks and shopping and eating out and so not like I enjoyed it but I, I sort of always just kept an eye on where he was and I sort of I knew where he was in the bike and I could see him on the run because there's a lot of out and back sections and I just tried to keep the gap and uh, hopefully if he caught up to me more I had another gear to go so no, like he, he's had a really great year and domestically he's obviously one of the best guys so yeah it's nice to race him and nice to see what the level's like in Ireland and it's obviously very high again and um, yeah he had a really good race and also Shane Scully obviously he's had a good race at Kilkee and uh, Brian Keane warned me about him from that, from that race so like I know all the guys and I know the faces and I know, I know who's good and who's not good and who can push you in the swim and who can push you in the bike and you know you just you should race smart and you're not wanting to break any records but you're just yeah, you want to you want to win, obviously, but uh, yeah, you just want to win, and just know you win by a second, you win by a second. If you win by any more than that, it's just a bonus. And uh, there's, I hear there's over a hundred uh, Vodafone staff here, and obviously you're a Vodafone ambassador. Uh, how is it to race in front of those kind of home supporters? Yeah, so I'll get now. Uh, I finished in good time, so I'll get to go out and support them now. And you know, Anne O'Leary obviously is the most enthusiastic person we all know, and she's been organising everything, and it's, it's great for them obviously as a company to get together and do something together and uh, the sun is out for them and you know triathlon is one of those things where you know it's an achievement and it's something to motivate you for the summer and it's coming to the end of summer now so I guess they've been training hard and uh, there's a lot of relays out there and uh, yeah it'll be great for them to experience what triathlon is all about obviously they, they support triathlon iron quite a fair bit and they support some of us individually so it's, it's nice to give back to them and we'll, we'll support them now for the rest of the day and going forward, are you looking at uh, doing a few more ITU races or would you like to try and do some long distance stuff? Um, I'm not 100% sure yet. The, the, this year is over pretty much for me internationally. So um, look, you have to, have to find some motivation for, for some new challenges. And you know, I've been to the Olympics now and I've been to two Commonwealth Games. So whether, whether I can find the motivation to do another four years, I'm not 100% sure at the moment. But there's always, when you're an athlete, there's always a bucket list of races you like to do. So hopefully in the early part of next year, I'll get to tick off a few of those. And uh, yeah, put my hand in some longer distance and see, see what that's like. And, but it's a different sport, you know what I mean? So you have to train appropriately. But So I'll have hopefully six months of good training now over the winter or I won't have to get ready for ITU races early on and I'm going to enjoy next year as much as possible and not, not chase things like I have been for the last two years so yeah next year will definitely be different but one really I'm looking forward to. Okay best of luck. Thank you very much.